Lord to us. Yes, Lord. Come on, worship Him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lift up your two hands wherever you are. Lift it up, lift it up. In the next one minute, I want you to open your mouth and speak in tongues. Come on. Pray in the language of the spirit. Speak in tongues. The atmosphere is impregnated with supernatural aura. The power of God is present tonight. Come on. Speak in tongues. Pray in the language of the spirit. Come on. Release some mysteries into the atmosphere. The Bible said, he that speaketh in tongues, speaketh mysteries to God. You are not communicating to men. You are communicating directly to the Most High God. Tonight, wherever you are standing, wherever you are watching this service from, I'd like you to open your mouth. Pray in the language of the Spirit. Distance has never been a barrier to the intoxication of God's sporadic supernatural power. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Makatakatakataya. Mandobo siatata. The atmosphere is rich. The atmosphere is pregnant with unimaginable testimonies and breakthroughs. Open your mouth. Speak in tongues. Makatakataya. Every opportunity you have to pray in the language of the spirit, you confuse the devourer. You set the camp of the devil and his cohorts ablaze. Open your mouth and speak in tongues. Tongue speaking is a precarious weapon. Tongue speaking. The Bible said the spirit searched all things, uh, the deep things of God. There are things your carnal mind cannot pick up. Your carnal man cannot unravel. But your spirit man knows how to search. The Holy Ghost is working with your spirit. Open your mouth. Pray in the spirit. Come on. Speak in tongues. You didn't come as an observer. You didn't come as a spectator. It's an emergency night. You are trusting God for an emergent breakthrough. An emergent miracle. Therefore speak in tongues. Let the devil be confused. Let Satan be bastardized tonight. Pray in the spirit. Come on lift it up. Lift it up. Lift that prayer up. Speak in tongues. Yakata, your spirit man is groaning. Your spirit man is praying. Your spirit man is interceding, speaking tongues. The power of God is here. The urgency of the Holy Ghost is present. Your testimony will be despised. Your testimony will be deployed. Speaking tongues. Nothing will hinder your breakthrough tonight. Nothing will hinder your going forward. Nothing will hinder your acceleration. Speaking tongues. Masata ta 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 ya lepra kata kados masukete repa kata kata. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands. Say, my father, my father. Shout it like your voice is yours. My father, my father. Tonight, as my hands are lifted, scream it as my hands are lifted. I place a demand on the supernatural. Say, Lord. In this atmosphere of your tangible presence and manifestation, whatever you have ordained for my life, for my destiny, in this season, as I clap my hands, I take it by force, I take it by fire, bounce on fire, makata kataya, leprakata, pise pise, pise pise, tonight is your night. Place a demand on the supernatural. My marriage, my breakthrough, my miracle, my testimony, my husband, my job, my ministry. Open your mouth. Whatever heaven has ordained in this season for your life, you will not miss it. You will not miss it. No breakthrough will escape you. No miracle tonight will escape you. Open your mouth. Clap your hands. And take it by force. Uh, the Bible says, since the days uh, of John the Baptist, Matthew 11, 12, the kingdom of heaven uh, suffered violence. It allows violence. And the violent folks uh, 
they take it by force. My God, my God, tonight, you will not go back the same way you came. Something will break for. Something will break for. Something will break for. You will live with your package of blessing. You will live with your package of blessing. Come on, take it by force. Take it by force. Take your marriage. Take your miracle. Take your husband. Take your conception. Take your job. Take your money. Take your wisdom. Matatata. Come on, open your mouth. Pray like you are mad. Pray like you are insane. You are not far from your miracle. You are not far from your breakthrough. The devil is a liar. Your level will change. I don't know why some of you are will come into a meeting like this uh, to observe some other people you are here to wrestle uh, for your portion uh, you are here to wrestle uh, for your breakthrough uh, take your eyes uh, of any man any woman uh, and focus on him uh, the all time finisher of your faith uh, something must change uh, something must shift uh, something must break forth uh, talk to God uh, Zebra kata man tolo baba iaba 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 vampire vampire ma wendi brina vampire pa usama the atmosphere is right the atmosphere is is pregnant with your solution with your answers come on speak makata sataya the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Makata kata. Makata kata. It is your time. It is your season. It is your moment. It is your hour. Nothing will hinder you. Nothing will frustrate you. Nothing will harass you. Take it by force. Take it by force. Your promotion is before you. Take it now. Take it now. That international door. Take it now. Yakata Kataya. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. My goodness. Listen. Listen. Lift your hands. Look at me. I am not saying what I'm going to say to flatter anybody. We are not here for entertainment. Are you with me at all? We are here for serious business. Tell somebody we are here for serious business. That is why tonight is an emergency night. Listen, anything that is emergency, it means the thing is crucial. Between now and benediction, you will live here with your package of divine blessing. If your amen can thunder, your case will be special. You know, when Let's appreciate Minister Paolo. Appreciate it. When, of course, I was following the service before I came. The atmosphere is rich. Hello. Listen, if I were you, I would forget about who is around me. Because in meetings like this, eh, don't focus on who is watching you and who is not watching you. It's irrelevant. It's frivolous. You are here for an encounter. So, obedience on China, on your money tank or full spectate. Jano. But I stand on this exalted mountain of the Holy Ghost. Between now and benediction, your miracle will manifest. I say your miracle will manifest. Your breakthrough will hit your destiny. Somebody shout, I take it by fire. I take it by fire. Don't forget, mommy is in the house. Let's appreciate mommy. Appreciate mommy. How many of you, to be honest, you are trusting, be sincere with yourself, you are trusting God that tonight will be a divine turn around for you. As your hands are lifted, God already told me in my secret place of prayer that tonight he will change your level. I say you will change your level. 
you will enter a breakthrough you did not imagine. Receive grace to enter. Sit down, sit down. I'm already ministering. Sit down. I'm preaching for about 10 minutes. Then we go into prayer and then I'll minister. By 9 p.m., you are out of here. See, I'm here. You see, your problem is you don't report on time. That's your problem. Look at somebody next to you and say, see your, see your head. See your head. No matter the admonition, no matter the rebuke, you will never show up on time. Even though it's a holy... Who is Pepe? And how are you? Who is Omu? Now, listen. Prior to this meeting, eh, for the purpose of media, the way they are looking at me, what's, what is the title of the message? You like title. You see, tonight I'm not teaching. Tonight I'm not preaching. You know what I'm doing tonight? I'm talking to your heart. Can I talk to your heart? Yeah, tonight I'm talking to your spirit man. If you want to give it a message, you can title the fear is over forever. I'm speaking to, listen, I am confronting that demon. I am confronting that diabolical spirit called fear that has overstayed this welcome in your life. 2023, beginning from tonight, that spirit of fear shall be emulated in your life. I said that spirit of fear shall be extricated from your life. Somebody rise up and shout, I am free. Sit down. Prior to this emergency service, God, one of the early mornings, woke me up. And then, in my place of study, God said to me, son, write. Write this prophecy for my beloved people. Including yourself. Write it. And like a dictation, I wrote that prophecy down. Now, when I finished writing the prophecy, don't, don't, don't stand yet. Relax. When I finished writing that prophecy, in fact, I read the thing, I pondered over it. Then I said, sir, so do you truly mean what you are saying? <laughs> Not that I was exhibiting ambiguity or dubiety, no. I believe God. Are you with me at all? But the thing I wrote was too juicy, too sweet. You know some things you are told is too good to believe. Yeah. Is somebody following me at all? So, not that I don't believe God. Though. I believe God. Who so, I said, sir, this thing you have asked me to write, this prophecy, is it truly from? You know what God said? He said, have you not read? In Numbers 23, verse 19. I am simply not a man. He said, he said, put a full stop. Don't go further. Because most of the time, after we read, God is not a man. And we go further. We become very demented. We become confused. God is simply not a man. That means men may make promises and fail. Men may make, how many people didn't tell you they would do passport and take you to America? Eh? How many people didn't promise you a good job? Didn't promise you some money? And when you call them, they tell you they don't live here. They only charge their phone. So men would disappoint. But God said, I am simply not a man. In other words, don't equate me in the league of men. Men are ordinary before me. He said, I am not a man. So what you have written, don't interpret it in the eyes of men. I am not a man. Then he said in Jeremiah 32, verse 27, in case you have not read, the Bible said, I am the God of all flesh. That means every human being could toast to this God. Hello? The Bible said, the earth is the laws, the heart of kings are in his hands. Do you know everything you are looking for in this life now is in another man's custody? Come on, talk to me. The pounds you are looking for, somebody can give it to you cheaply. Hello? How many of you want pounds? Tell him. How many of you want dollars? Do you know some people can give it to you cheaply? Tonight, in this emergency service, three days from today, may your path cross a man, a woman, that can bless you with pounds, tell him. That can bless you with euros. That can bless you with dollars. If you are the owner of this prophecy, rise up and shout, I take it by fire. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. So, God said, everything I say, I have what it takes to deliver. 
I know you can't wait to hear what he told me. The truth of the matter is, you may have heard it before, but what makes it inimitable, what makes it non perial with what he told me to write is because this one, I'm not saying it by inspiration. I am saying it because God said, this is what, you see, if I tell you, I will help you. I said it. If God too says, I will help you, there is a colossal dichotomy. Hello? So don't see or listen to what I'm telling you from my perspective. See it as God is speaking. And God is still speaking. Oh. Tonight you will not miss your prophecy. My name 18 June. I will decide. 18 June. Who is 8? Are you 18 June? Come. 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 Give me oil. There is something nobody has entered in your family. That says yes, the Lord. Tonight, the anointing that is coming upon you is pushing you into that breakthrough. Oh, don't be jealous. Oh, don't be jealous. Hush. What now keep close that? Don't now keep close to that. Stretch out your hand towards him. Any opportunity that is coming from Cape Coast to this lady. I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost. That giant door shall open for her. Stretch out your hand towards her. I want you to pray in one minute that every door, every connection between Cape Coast and what God wants to do with her destiny tonight, it shall come to pass. Open your mouth and pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Zebra Katosa. Oh, Jesus. Father, as I anoint her, I release that door. That strange door nobody has entered. By this anointing, you shall enter. You shall enter. You shall enter. In the name of Jesus. Now, can I, can I tell you what God told me? You are not vibrating. Can I tell you? You want to know? Want to, you want to know? God said, it's a prophecy that says the Lord. Between now and December 31st, every one of you under the sound of my voice, God said, I should tell you, grace that will usher you into the realm of prosperity, that grace shall billow upon you. I don't like the way you are received. I said, that grace shall billow upon you. Somebody shout, I will prosper. Scream it. I will prosper. Listen, I am telling if if what I'm saying eh, is a lie, then God lied to me. God said, write, I wrote it like a dictation. He said, tell them that in this season I am ushering them into a realm of prosperity. Lift up your two hands. Tonight, I don't care the background you are emanating from. I don't care what has been said concerning your background. Tonight, if truly your umbilical cord is tied to this ministry, if your destiny is tied to the vision of this commission, I stand as God's servant. Between now and December 31st, you shall swim in prosperity. You shall jump in prosperity. You shall lie in prosperity. Somebody shout, I receive it by fire. Give three people a high five. Tell them, I don't know about you, but ask for me. I shall prosper. Say it like you mean it. I shall prosper. You prosper. You prosper. Give me Matthew chapter 17. Sit down for five minutes. Matthew chapter 17. Let's read verse 19. Very popular scripture. Very, very intriguing scripture. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart. Oh, did you bring your bottle of water? Yeah. Lift it up, lift it up. Let me see your bottle of water. As you have lifted this bottle of water up from today, any area of your life, they have marked you for penury. They have marked you for backwardness. They have marked you for smallness. As the Holy Ghost is activated on this water, between now and the next 21 days, you are stepping into unusual realm. You are stepping into unusual favor. You are stepping into unusual prosperity. Say, I receive it by fire. 
Sit down. We'll come to that. Sit down. Ha. Then came the disciples to who? Talk to me. To who? They came to Jesus apart. They came to Jesus in a solitary, segregated place. They came to Jesus Nicodemusly. They came to Jesus in a separate place. Now, the question is, why do they want to engage Jesus in a separate place? Why do they want to engage Jesus, you know, in a segregated vicinity? Why? Because, look at it. Look at it. They came to Jesus and they said to him, why couldn't, what? Cast out who? To cast out the devil. Because they were, you know the story behind this. They were, they, they were attempting to cast a demon out of a young lad. They said, why couldn't we cast out the devil? Why? Now the question is, why did they take Jesus to a separate place? They took Jesus to a separate place because, number one, they had failed in the public. They had made a caricature of themselves in the public. They had become a mockery in the public. Wisdom will teach you that when you have failed in the public, isolate yourself. Go and seek for answers. Why you failed? So they went to Jesus and asked Jesus, Sir, why couldn't we cast out the devil? So to the disciple, their problem was their inability to cast out devils. Is that not it? In your case, it may not be casting out of devils. You are asking yourself, why am I not married? Why can't I have peace of mind? Why is my business not flourishing like others? From all indications, I am anointed, yet very frustrated. I am anointed, yet very broke. Why? Why can't I succeed? Why can't I prosper? They said, why couldn't we cast out? Now, Many of you are asking yourself, why can't I make money? Imagine somebody says to you, I want to give you a plot of land. Maybe the land will cost like 100,000 CD. 100 by 100. In a very prime location. But the person is saying, because you are a member, a bona fide member of House of Consecration, I want to give it to you for 50,000. But the truth is, you don't have the 50,000. But the location of the property is a prime location. But over, you don't get money. And you're asking yourself, sir, why don't I have money? Why? I have certificate. I have degree. I have masters. I have doctorate. Yet, I can't raise 50,000 CD. So your question is, why? And if you're not, you start, you start thinking, is it that prosperity is the native of some special people? Is it that God has some special people, some special children he embellishes with, with riches? And then there are other people who are also in the category of average. They are struggling to enter riches. And then there are others too who are very impoverished and backward. Listen, all these questions you are asking, I can answer you. The answer is a capital no. God doesn't have special children. He gives special grace to prosper to. Is somebody following me at all? When you read 2 Corinthians chapter 8, the verse 9, the Bible says, for we know, we know, put it on the screen, for we know, 2 Corinthians 8 9, quickly, for we know the grace of God, of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was what? Talk to me, though he was what? Rich, yet for, talk to me, for, kingsly sake, put your name there, for, oh Jesus, for our sins, he became poor. That through his poverty, you and I can be prosperous. Is that not it? Do you desire to prosper? Listen, the prophecy has already gone ahead of you. Whether you like, listen, if you don't want to prosper in this church, it's too late. Somebody shall, it's too late. Because prophecy has gone ahead of you. If this year, you don't want to drive your dream car, it is too late. If you don't want to live in your apartment, it is... It is too late. Why? Because prophecy has gone ahead of us. He said Christ became poor so that through his penury you and I can become prosperous. Now, when we talk of prosperity, you should ask yourself, how do I prosper? Is somebody following me at all? There be a whole kind of prosper. Now, how do I prosper? 
How do I prosper? And when we talk of prosperity, we are not talking of becoming rich. <laughs> when we say you will prosper, we are not talking of you becoming rich. We are not talking of you becoming a billionaire. Hello? You may not be rich. You may not be a billionaire. But you will still prosper. So what then is prosperity? Prosperity is simple. Having enough to eat and enough to give. That is prosperity. Having what? Enough to eat. Enough to spend. Enough to buy your land. Enough to do your investment. Enough to take your family for holiday. Enough to quit eating and TV watching. Enter a restaurant, a Chinese. Order some good food. So that you too, you can be satisfied and happy. When God gives you more than enough to eat and to give. You have more than enough. You can help your siblings to also find settlement. You can help some people who are gifted. But there is no money to express their gift. When God gives you more than enough to eat and to drink, I mean, to give, then you are prosperous. That is where you are coming to tonight. I don't like your amen. That is the level you are entering tonight. Somebody shout, I am ready to enter. By the engrafted word, by the superior blood of Jesus, tonight, beginning from tonight, you will never lack what to eat. You will never lack what to care for. You will never lack what to invest you will never lack what to settle others. Are you receiving that prophecy? Between now and tomorrow, I prophesy, God will give you more than enough to eat. God will give you more than enough to give. Somebody shout, I am the one. That is prosperity. Having more than enough is prosperity. Forget, I'm not a billionaire, but I'm prosperous. If you can fly, I can fly. If you can live comfortably, I can also live comfortably. Are you a billionaire? No, sir. But I'm not hungry. Are you a billionaire? No, sir. But I'm not backward. 2023, get ready. You will surpass your contemporaries. I said 2023, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will surpass your contemporaries. Receive the anointing for speed. Receive the anointing for more than enough. Rise up, shall fire. Shake your legs, shall fire. Jump on your feet, shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give somebody a high five. Tell the person you will have more than enough to eat. You have more than enough to give. That is prosperity. When you meet God, ask Him. You have more than enough. There is a dream in your heart. How many of you have a dream house in your spirit? Because character is contagious. Who said you will be vibrant here? Now a Kenya said no. Now some of you are in the middle of But the way I owe you, master, oh, but for true true. Now you are driving by a car with some of you. Hey, the day at the time, now we are for true true. As you are shouting, may prosperity hit your destiny. May prosperity hit your destiny. Listen. Listen. When God gives you more than enough to eat, you can attempt any investment. You can also enter a car scale. We are saying, Mercedes near saying, Land Cruiser near saying, Range Rover near saying, Okay, can you know about me? May you see a Monday when I'm planning to go school. I am speaking your tomorrow, I am prophesying your tomorrow. He will give you more than you know. Listen, listen, the level you are now, you will not be there forever. Somebody shout off your car. Say, I refuse to remain at this level. No, 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 you can't stagnate in life, you cannot remain at this level. Next year will not meet you the same way. In fact, we are drawing the curtains to the first half, ushering ourselves into the second half. Before the end of the second half, your destiny will be colorful. Your future will be colorful. Somebody shall fire. So anytime you say, Lord, prosper me, you are simply saying, Lord, give me more than enough to eat. The biawe come market out the pen. A two paper home. 
You have no prospect. You have no prospect. When you prosper, and this is and this is They said they are two city, two city. We are facing our equal leader. But we need meat. We need to know dinner time. If we saw, I would say, I am not so so and so. Somebody shout, I will prosper. So, that is prosperity. Hello? So, disengage your mind. Disabuse your mind of the fact that some people have been given special grace. It's, it's, it's for some special... No! Every bona fide child of God qualifies to prosper. You may not prosper today, but I guarantee you tomorrow you will prosper. The day after you will prosper. As your days, so shall your prosperity be. Lift up your hands. Receive prosperity. You prosper. <laughs> you prosper. So they ask the simple question. Why couldn't we cast out the demon? Why? Can I tell you why? The reason they couldn't cast is because of fear. <laughs> you have always thought it was unbelief. But I'm going to show you very shortly that the reason they couldn't cast the devil was because of fear. How? You know this whole month I've been teaching on fear. Can I tell you something? After tonight, fear is forever exterminated from your life. By the power of the engrafted word, fear shall be extinct from your life. Fear is why they couldn't, Pastor Kelly, fear. Fear is the reason why you are unable to succeed. Fear makes you incapacitated. Fear makes you unable. Why couldn't we? Fear is the reason why you think your mates are better than you. Fear is why you think some people sing better than you. <laughs> Sometimes even the people you think they are better, they themselves know you carry what they don't carry. Yeah. An opportunity, no money. Many years ago, I was not preaching in all the places you see me preaching. Eh? I didn't despise my small beginning. I said, despise not your... No beginning is popular. No beginning is popular. No beginning is popular. It's just a matter of time. Eh? Car Papa Nube Tribi. I don't like... Me say, Car Papa Nube Tribi. A time, baby, I'm going to be air conditioned warm. Nube Tamubi. The reason you think your contemporaries are better than you is because of fear. Fear is why you think some people are shining better. Some people are flourishing better. Some people are thriving better. But tonight, congratulations. That stubborn demon called fear shall be exterminated from your life. They said, why couldn't we? <laughs> you see, when they were talking, eh, Jesus took a glance at them. Jesus was gazing at them. I'm sure Jesus shook his head. You know why? Because they were ridiculing and disgracing his ministry. If you are walking around Jesus, every situation you will meet, eh, by the time you are walking away, there must be solution. There must be non-challenge. There must be some dimension of calmness. But Jesus realized that you guys, you have really subjected my ministry to colossal ignominy. I am disappointed. But that notwithstanding, they said, sir, why couldn't we? Now look at the answer, verse 20. Look at it. This is where you have always missed it. And Jesus said unto them, because of what? Because we need to be able, Pastor Aaron, we need to be able to figure out, we need to fizzle out the answer to why they couldn't. So that when you have that indefatigable key, there is nothing that will be impossible to your life. So the answer they are, they are looking for is also crucial to you and I, our life. Is somebody following me? Now, the question is, what is unbelief? What is unbelief? Because for many of you, I know what you are thinking. Unbelief is the absence of faith. Hello? That is partially correct. Unbelief is the absence of what? Faith is partially correct, but not entirely true. 
That's why you have come to the school of the spirit. Hello? That's why God has prepared a man of God and an iconic servant to teach you Bible. Can I teach you? That's why I told you I want to talk to your heart. Unbelief. Unbelief is not necessarily the absence of faith. Let me give you the definition. Maybe you have never heard it before. When you meet God, ask him. He will tell you this is the truth. Unbelief is the presence of faith. <laughs> Unbelief is the presence of faith in God. In God. But the presence of fear to ridicule what God has said concerning your life. Can I repeat it again? Unbelief is the presence of what? Faith in God. Hello? But the presence of fear to undermine, to ridicule, to make nonsense of what God has said concerning your life. So, it's not that you don't have faith. Okay, if these disciples didn't have faith, why were they following Jesus? Don't forget, in Luke chapter 10, I think verse 17, they were the same people that came back and said, Sir, even the devils were subject to us. So there was a time they cast out devils. But on this occasion, the presence of fear intimidated them. So it's not as if they didn't have faith. They had faith. They had faith. You that is here, it, your problem is not really the absence of, you have faith in God. You believe God. What the, like God said tonight, you will prosper, you will believe it. But the challenge you have, it is between the time God said, the process and the manifestation. That is where fear shows up. You will not marry. This prophecy, forget, it's not for you. If then they talk of people where they go get money, you stay inside. My friend, shut up. The family you are emanating from, who has built a six-bedroom duplex? Eh? Who has seen airport before? And you are, so, that is where fear steps in. Listen, if you don't have faith, you won't come to church. Faith is what drives you to God's vineyard. So, by all standards, these guys had faith. But the problem was the presence of fear. That is why they couldn't cast out because God had already, Jesus had already showed them the way that they can cast out devils. But on this occasion, fear said, not for you. Fear is a bastard. Do you hear what I said? Fear is a canker. Tonight, by the power of the engrafted word, anywhere fear eh, is in your life, the engrafted word shall annihilate fear from your life. Somebody shout, I am free from fear. You are free. Shout it, I am free. You are free. So you have faith. But it is the presence of fear that is toying with your destiny. That is ridiculing your life. That is why tonight God said, I should tell you, fear is over forever. Because 2023, by the power of the engrafted word, you will step into unimaginable testimonies. Everything your hands will touch shall blossom. Everything your hands will touch shall thrive. Everything your hands will touch will flourish. Somebody shout, I receive it. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Lift your hands. Somebody shall fear is over forever. Scream it, fear is over forever. <laughs> lift your water, lift your water, lift your water. Oh, Jesus. Kaba Satan. Listen, if you are part of the people who drop their passport on the altar, eh? if you are part of the people, one, two, three, four. Any country you are envisaging for yourself, if your passport is here, come, shake my hand. Tell yourself, as you are shaking my hand, the consular has given you the visa. You take your passport, you go. It's a prophetic instruction. It just came to my spirit. You take it, you go. Shake my hand. Whatever country you want to apply. What do you say? 
I was talking to Pastor Kelly. Pastor Kelly now great now. That this year, from last year to this year, we have lost a lot of people. Not in a negative sense. But God has really, I was telling some people, one of the graces in this house is a traveling grace. Because that grace is on mommy and I, our lives. Are you with me at all? That's why every time you go for visa, you get it. No matter how many times they refuse you, whether they like it or you go, get out. See, I'm here. It's a grace. It's a grace. It's a grace. When you have passport to Krani Amma, you give visa to that. When you have passport to Krani Amma, US, it's in the house. Don't take it for granted. It's a suggestion that soon soon you will go with you. One of the soon die and who we kindergarten at your level as a matured person. Now, who won't call him? What do you say? I mean, for as a teacher in a nursery school, and two to any answer, this is my assignment, my dear. Don't deceive yourself. What a bank now, so die now, Jana Kendagat was in a mean friend, some in Kotra Radio Kendagat. They are both coach. There are some dreams you don't take lightly at all. Who's your school uniform? You were dream. University cry, you say uniform. Tomorrow, I'm also so and I know also when you wake up. Condemn that dream. Bury, command the ground to open and swallow that satanic dream. See, I hear. Congratulations. 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 Pastor Kelly. Congratulations. Over here, I'm Pastor Kelly is over. So, okay. I'm here. That's what we were doing. What can they? Now, me a frow, a frow, a frow. Why, why do you say, oh, answer to the call? Now, me a frow, or frow. Catch what we say, now, me a frow. Frow. One day, somebody called me, a son in this ministry. A frow, I said, Daddy, I didn't be happy. And I'm sitting there. What's my son, Daddy? I know, be chasing me. What's your white? What's your brand name for the young goose? And I'm sitting there, I know, for goose. Why was it there? That the name there, but my who will be your person or the maker? Any one I'm here, and I'm saying, if I'm happy, I'm for me with a business. Me person, me taste can be. I'm so ready. Okay, can. And I'm going to change that. Oda, you know, so I soon change that. Obi, change you, sir. Every month, penny, I'm in Juma. Hey, I'm going to say, I'm going to move person. I'll be asking you, I'm here, here, home. Home, can't hold it. You and me. It's true. It's true. What for, Oda? Miss Cork, crowd in your view and Lift your water. Yakataba satire. Lift it up. Water is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Lift it up. As you have lifted this water tonight, every prayer you invoke on this water, I profess, 2023 and beyond, so shall it be in your life. I said, so shall it be in your life. The ideas, the wisdom, the power, whatever God has ordained in eternity before time concerning your destiny tonight, as your water is lifted, it will lose its natural tendency. Whatever is in your blood, whatever is in your veins, whatever is in your lungs, whatever is in your heart, your arteries, whatever your heavenly father did not plan tonight, as you are drinking the water, it shall be exterminated. It shall be uprooted. It shall be astricated. In the name of Jesus. By this water, lift it up. We are going to pray. And listen, when I say enter into prayer, my dear, begin to imagine your tomorrow. And decide in your heart that as I'm drinking the water, my imagination by the power of the Holy Ghost shall become a reality. Are you ready? Are you ready? Lift the water up. Say, my father, my father. Tonight, as I have lifted the bottle of water by the power of the Holy Ghost, tonight, everything I imagine, everything I project, everything I forecast concerning my tomorrow, 
concerning my future by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be activated. Let it be activated over this bottle of water. Tonight, by this water, my life will change. My life will change. My life will change. My life will change. By fire. By fire. By fire. Open your mouth and talk to God. Speak over the bottle of water. Make a vehement declaration. In the mighty name of Jesus, by this water hour, I Pray. see my tomorrow. Repaya dadaha, repada dehea, Iliama san talabadeha, Eliama tobe de bahea, Rema dabada baha, Shataya dadada, Rema yadan toleria, Ria pasan talabadeha, Pray, Tolemadeha, Repaya dadoa, Rabas, Pray, Repaya dadoa, Repas yanta, Andele bayadianda, Reba yadada, By this water, Hakadabadaba, we shall see her, our tomorrow, Endala bayia, Ika san talabadeha. Eliama Speak, 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 speak. Invoke your imagination. Invoke your projection. Invoke your stupendous thoughts over the bottle of water. Invoke it, invoke it. It is no longer ordinary water. The power of God, the power of God has descended on the water. Open your mouth and pray. Shataya Dabaya. My God, my God, my God, my God, hey, Shataya, 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 come on, invoke it, invoke it. Invoke it, invoke it. My God. In the name of Jesus. Now lift it up. Say, My Father, my Father. Father, my Father. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Embedded in this water. Embedded in this water. Tonight. Tonight. As I drink it. As I drink it. By the power of your word. By the power of your word. Every inhibition. Every infiltration, every infiltration of the demon called fear in my heart, in my, heart, in my, spirit, in my spirit, as I drink the water tonight, I flush it out. I flush it out. You spirit of fear, right now, get out. Get out forever. Open your mouth and talk to God. Shataya daba, Pizza, 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 
Bise bise Mataya 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 Katoa Katoa In the name of Jesus Lift up your hands Lift up your hands And the bottle Say Heavenly Father Heavenly Father Shout it Heavenly Father Heavenly Father Tonight Every ancestral disease, every ancestral disease, every ancestral disease, every ancestral, ancestral disease, infirmities, ancestral infirmities, sicknesses have inherited, sicknesses have inherited from my father's house, from my father's, from my mother's house, from my mother's house, whatever I inherited, whatever I inherited, be it delay, be it delay, be it disappointment, be it disappointment, be it barrenness, be it barrenness, whatever I inherited, whatever I inherited, without my consultation, without my consultation. Tonight, tonight, by this water, by this water, I flush it out. I flush it out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in this water, in this water, I will never, I will never be a victim of fear. I will never, I will never be a victim of circumstances. My Father, 2023, starting from tonight. I am false. I am false. My freedom. My freedom. Now. 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 Open your mouth and talk to God. Shataya da 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 da. Lekaya da ba ha. Lama suntele ba de ha. Elia masom padeta. Antala ba do. Repada da dua. Ramasian tala ba de ha. Ekele ba de ha. Labrason tala ba de ha. Lebresi. Come on, pray. Amayoli antele ba ha. Ikaya da ba da ha. Antole madiandia. Ekele de ba ha. Any ancestral curse. Oh, but the better for my father's family, for my mother's side, in the name my of God, Jesus. My God, we flush my God. you out, we flush you out. Kadeba de boa, Eliama Sietipo, Lama de Bada Boduba, Lampayandala, Lakaya de Baha, Lopropa Bianda, and Telebadea, Lebre Siedabaha, Kalabada de Boa, Lebre Badadua, Mayandala Badua, Eamaya de Dua, Kayada Badupea, and Kalabadoha, Eama Swanta, and Kaya. In the name of Jesus. Now open the water. Open the water. Open it. Drink as much as you can and then release it as much as you can. But you mean so bombay at him and no more meal. And you know, I make it's just a point of because me jaw out your no no answer to you. No, I'm craving you find your point of contact. The rest you can finish it because we say a good suit you go for. I know that I say empire cacker boy and a whole few friends were dehydrated. God punish the devil. One of them, okay, for what you need to from first you now the rest of it as you go home before you retire to bed, eh? before you retire to bed. You can drink the rest of it. And whatever you imagine, you project or forecast concerning your tomorrow as you are drinking it. Please, before you retire to bed, see something that looks unimaginable. Hello? If you are a worker in a bank, see yourself as the company CEO before you retire to bed. Is somebody following me at all? You are a pastor. See yourself as 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 a, a, as an itinerary international preacher. Something unusual. Am I talking to somebody? You are a designer. See yourself hundred times better than the people that are in limelight. So before you sleep, imagine it. Forecast it. Then you drink it. As you are drinking, say, Lord, as I have imagined, as I have envisaged, so shall it be in my life. And because you have said it, it will happen to you. Now lift your hands. You have drunk some, right? Say, Father, Father, what I drank, what I drank now, now is a point of contact. It's a point of contact. 2023. 2023. My heart is open. My heart is open. By this water I drank. By this water I drank. My spirit is open. My spirit is open. This year. This year. I shall prosper. I shall prosper. I don't like the way you are saying it too. I have one in your country. I'm a Mujina Kelly Machin. When you're going to overco, when you're going to me, me who's your country anointing a Bahana dream. 
Kwa mwa pejamu za mwenye na mwa passport vye. Mwa passport. Aimba na hapuza wako. Germany. Germany. Uzwe. China. Aimba. Canada. Mwame uzwe. Mwude mwini misa wa committed wa haube jaya wako. UK. Sini ya uzwe. USA. I don't know how can we be from front will be. Because we want a light. I swear to you, I'm I'm telling you, who bright light. I want to say, as we watch your exams, near your market paper, said your market correct. I want to passport, near your market correct. That means, say, for your meeting now, any day you decide to visit any embassy, God shall grant you your visa. Why not? Why not? 403-2316. Passport number. Mumubako. I bear the passport number. Gene 4. Because your sign is here. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? What do you have Come. Come. My dear, come. Come. Yeah. Who's here? Then Toma Fita, Chichiru, Wunina. You are buried in that white cloth. That says the Lord. 21 days from now, you are stepping into unusual favor. Unusual favor. If it is a flat light, I toy chino. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Regina online. All of you here, lift your hands. This line from Regina to the gentleman. Why any more be a friend of Watchy? Watchy, Mr. Watchy, as I hope I pose. Why? Oh, uncle. Oh, Jesus. Mami, Yami, ye bibi. Yami, ye bibi. Yami, smen can't tell us that weeping may endure for a night. But joy, joy. Somebody shout joy. Yami, ye bibi. On se, eto de bi a on. Enye no men yin anna to make I thought we are not the new money be a serie, but we go and we name the ekoso. But soon, soon, yet the intuma fita, if intuma no so egg glitter, I say I want diamond touch. I want to money. We are making such a mess. Say the intuma ni e fita. So I na me ya the full flow. I want a bravo. Everything about her life, God is turning it around. And chakra, a purana, a muatu for a long time. That says the Lord. That door is open from today. Why not better pay 10 pounds? Father, I pray. From today, may pounds tell him be a permanent servant to his life. I remember years ago, a man of God came to town in Reverend Steve Mensah's church. All I had on me was about $50. This was around 2002. I dropped it. The man stood on it. He, first, he said, who dropped the $50? It was a crowd. Then I came out. He said, from today, money will forever be a servant. I stand on that prophecy I received so many years ago. From 2002 to now. And I can tell you, I'm a living testimony of that prophetic word. I speak and I take sweat from my face. From today, what is called sweat to prosper, you will escape it in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, money answered all things. In other words, money is a personality. As I place my hands on you, my beloved son, money will forever be a servant in your life. You will never lack money in your destiny. 
Any day God opens a giant door for me financially. May God remember this prophecy over your life. Receive that impartation. It is done. Lift your hands. You will become very great. You have an aggressive and an audacious spirit. The Lord said, by reason of your spirit, I will make your name great. Later, double check. You will discover that that number I quoted is your passport number. And God is saying to me, anywhere that passport will appear, even if they don't like you, they don't have a choice. Because God has gone ahead of you. That visa will be granted in the name of Jesus. This side. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. This side. I see marriage, 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 marriage. marriage. What do you think? I want to hear your name. What's what you want to say? I want to say, 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 this side. Next time comes, I want to say, Father, I prophesy. Anybody here that is ready for marriage, I release it in the name of Jesus. Stretch out your hand towards him. My God. Ah, receive that grace. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Now, now, now. Take it. My God. My God. My God. My God. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Stretch out your hand towards Reggie. Mr. Boache, right? Stretch out your hands. Every untimely attack over the life of Mr. Boache. Tonight, I stand as God's oracle. That attack shall boomerang to sender. Now open your mouth and begin to pray. No Boache dies untimely. Open your mouth and pray. Shatakatakataya. Shatakatakataya. Pray. What you have me now, man? Father, in the name of Jesus, by this anointing, I cancel death. I cancel death. I cancel death. I cancel death. Now. 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 It is done. Stretch out your hand towards my daughter. Listen, listen, listen. I'm tempted to say tonight's service is dedicated to her. I'm saying this because I want you to be provoked to pray for her. Because she is one foot from a major testimony. And we are saying, Lord, no more delays. No more. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Now, hey, the blessing of the Lord that make her rich and add no sorrow. Take it. No, no, open your palm. Open your palm. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. Now put it on your face. The Lord said, I should tell you, beginning from today, you will literally be hearing voice, but it's the voice of the Spirit of God. The Lord said, from today, He's taking over your life. He will show you the path that leads to the breakthrough He has ordained for you. Stretch forth your hand towards it. That she will not miss out on God's direction and illumination. The Lord said, I should put oil in her palm. Because from today, whatever her hands will touch, anything her hands will find to do, it shall thrive and flourish. Open your mouth and pray. The Holy Ghost will guide them. Pray. Everybody lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. 
the lady there in a zebra kind of attire. Come. Come. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. But who said, and you may be a Tony Paso. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Close your eyes. Father, that mark of prosperity, I release it now. I release it now. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Some people's prosperity will start from tomorrow. It will start from tomorrow. It will start from tomorrow. Father, let that mark touch them in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's touching you now. That mark. That mark that will make you prosperous is touching you. It's touching you. It's touching you. It's touching you now. You will prosper. Just open your mouth. Begin to thank him that he has put that mark on you. Open your mouth. Le cabra had a hand. The Ukraine passport. Have you been here already? Come. Come. If you have a passport, come. Come. Give me a handshake. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Mr. Yansi. Now they quit. What happened is on one corner. On can we cry to That's a holiday, Abba. Okay, Father, they call holiday, Abba. It will use with him. My can is, sir. If you are here, I'm going to have a holiday visa. A bedroom, maybe, make them. They said they're mobile, so the passport is just a moment. They said your passport is just a moment. Mommy, what? Mommy, so what? Passport is just a moment. I'm going to have a crab, you know. I'm going to have a passport ready in here. It's a moment on one and you're sorry, what? And I'm going to have a crab. I mean, I'm going to have a crab. And i Baba. Tell Baba I love him. Don't forget that in the next seven days nyami ensi san shabre open your mouth and pray for baba pray 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 for baba quickly pray 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 for baba pray Listen, I wrote something down. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Say seven days from today. When is seven days from today? Thursday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Seven days. Say seven days from today. Specifically Tuesday by this time. Whatever God has ordained shall manifest. Please speak to yourself. Say seven days from today. Whatever God has said shall manifest in the name of Jesus. Seven days, we expect time. That means next week, Tuesday, by this time, every one of you with expectation, God will come through for you. I said, God will come through for you. 
Father, Baba is blessed. Give me the oil. Oh, Baba is blessed. Baba is blessed. Baba is blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands. Just thank the Lord. I'm closing. I'm closing. At least my hand. Matthew, it's my hand. The Lord bless you. One in you, Mr. Samoa. One in you, Mr. Samoa. You know Mr. Samoa. Come. Who is he? Your father. Where is he now? As we are speaking, where is he? He's at home. When last did you speak to him? Last week. I see a trap. I see a trap. These days, eh, when people call you, you know you have to be very careful. It's because it's a Sikabi, Pane, Fawana, Eskam. But this one is not the regular way they scam people. This one is coming from somebody he knows, somebody he relates with. But what he doesn't know is that this person is being scammed by another person. But he thinks it's an opportunity to make some money. And because he believes in this person, he's willing to put something in this thing the person is doing. But the Lord said, he should not do it. Because, when we say, the number in the 456, 456, that's the number. 0244162456. But who said in the realm of the spirit when you call and a call no is telling him say he has lost something and what son he could not and the rest didn't mean come but that period in the moon then you miss a you be big case here I want a bravo is is the mother alive is the mother alive Pastor, put your hands. On also the watch it. On also the watch it. Stretch out your hands. We are saying, Lord, tamper justice with mercy. And whoever is close to him, but is also manipulating him spiritually, we release the fire of God. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The name of Jesus. Lady Biwa, how am I born to? Am I born to? Because a sensitive Kakra. Don't take it, say normal. Who would your own come as a Mokrancher? Open our own ferry, which my engaging mommy. No, I can't share because a normal. A dear BSC. Didn't we crown camp? Me who said your main can. But eh, asema, eh, masem. As a was soon die. Now sorry, and I did not who would die when one and see, and yet once, and yet twice, and yet thrice. But as a fairy asem, to who your own country. Tonight, God is ready to deliver you. But more importantly, I think for fairy to change, many mommy didn't come up because miss me the information, even man. Now, yet you may boil so that we. Exterminate this attack forever. <laughs> Imagine, say, Bema, now you have <laughs> so save you high and gun. So, but what you are saying, you can't make can one who would do that. So, when found, but we are in the moon. But what is in the way and call just so far and come back, but me mean to say, you are respecting your dear party. You know, my name here. So, so we use that as a point of contact. No evil shall befall the father. Whatever trap they had set, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray.
Finally, I want you to pray that this lady will become a star. This lady will be projected. Whatever God wants to do with her, it shall come to pass on him. Open your mouth and pray. Father, I cover her with the blood of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Just thank him tonight. Thank him. Whilst you are thanking him, take your offering quickly. Take your offering. Take your offering. Take your offering. Take your offering.